What's going on, guys? So I was cleaning the shop today, and I've got this really cool old Coors Light bar sign that I picked up a long time ago, and the light's been giving me trouble in it. I'll show you what it's doing here. It's flickering pretty bad. So I've got these LEDs. Um, there's a link in my Amazon store below. Um, put them in both rooms of my shop. They're actually fantastic. And it's exactly the right length for this. So instead of trying to replace the ballast for the old fluorescent light, we're just gonna go ahead and take it out. This thing comes apart pretty easy. Um, it is a little bit brittle. I don't know how old it is exactly. I've seen some around on eBay and stuff. I actually picked this up at antique store about uh, seven years ago or so. Um, they were asking a whole bunch for it. I think they were asking a few hundred dollars and I kept my eye on it. Ran across it again at a year or so later and I guess the light had quit working. So they had marked it down to like a hundred bucks and uh, yeah, I jumped on it. So I love the mountains and stuff and this is just kind of fitting. So test fitting the bulb in there, it actually fits perfectly between the, uh, the mounts for the other light bulb. So I'll drill some holes and mount that with the brackets that those LEDs came with. So I'm actually going to use some RC car hardware to mount it up some three millimeter or some M3 bolts and nuts. Um, not going to put self tappers through it. It is just thin sheet metal. But um, yeah, I think it's going to actually work pretty well. So the next step, I don't have enough of the actual switch connectors. These lights come with a bunch of different adapters and wiring options you can put them in the end or it comes with pigtails like this that plug in and then you can hardwire them to your house so uh i'd cut the original cord off of it and i'm just going to splice it to the pigtail and that way it'll still look kind of original the old brown extension cord hanging out of it um yeah i didn't have any solder or nice crimp connectors so we're going to go ghetto with the with tape I and mean, this thing's not moving around or anything so it's going to be sta stationary where it is so i'm not worried about it coming un undone in there plus it fits pretty snugly you'll see here in a little bit so now i just snapped the light in using the mounts that we put in and uh, it's, it is a snug fit with the wire on the end but it does fit in there pretty nicely and i think the angle of it is going to work pretty well for everything that needs to light up i'm not sure what that actual mountain display thing is made of it's almost I mean it's it's the same color on both sides so I don't know how they how they really did it it almost feels like a cardboard or like a paper mache but it has become brittle over time you can see there's a couple chunks missing at the bottom but it was like that when I got it so uh you get a little ghetto here I couldn't run the extension cord from the same location that it came from so we're gonna cut and peel back a little bit of the metal edge and we're just gonna tuck the wire out of the side and that is the side that my plug is on in the room so it just works out better that way for me so put buttoning it back up got the uh i did fix a, a loose screw that holds the glass in there in the center it kind of strengthened the whole thing up a little bit and uh yeah it's pretty delicate i don't know if this was actually in like a smoky bar or something its whole life but it is yellowed and, and brittle but i literally like it it sure looks cool i'm gonna leave the pull string hanging even though it's not operational anymore and here's the finished product close all the doors boom nice and bright um, get you a closer look here you can see that it uh, works a lot better than the fluorescent bulb did if I can get the camera to focus it's not over blindingly bright just because the room's dark but it's a really neat little display it is missing over the center a big giant Coors beer thing but I'd rather not have that because I like to see the, the mountains that's really the main thing I got it for and I thought it was cool, too, because the house I bought, the town, the community is Mountain Springs. So thank you all for watching. And uh, I know it's not RC stuff. We'll be back to that here shortly. I'll see you all in the next one.